In this lecture, we are going to solve our problem number one on reciprocity theorem. And this problem I have taken from GTCE 2000 paper. And we will first read the given problem and then we will solve it. Use the data of figure A. This is figure A. Current I in the circuit of figure B is. This is figure B and this is current I in figure B. And we need to find current I with the help of data in figure A. There are four options and we need to choose one correct option. So let us move on to the solution of this problem. When you observe the given networks, you will find they have the same set of resistors and they are in the exact same position. And the only difference is in this particular network, source is present in this branch and in this network, source is present in this branch. In this network, current in this branch is 2 amperes and we need to find current in this branch of this network. And if I assume this branch, this branch is branch X, this branch is branch Y, this branch will be branch X and this branch will be branch Y. Then we can say that in figure A, branch X is having the excitation, branch Y is having the response, but in figure B, branch Y is having the excitation and branch X is having the response. So we are interchanging the positions of response and excitation. And this means we can use reciprocity theorem. And I'm not saying let's go and use reciprocity theorem to find out current I because we need to first check if all the conditions for reciprocity theorem is satisfied by this network or not. The condition number one is this network should be linear. We have one voltage source and we have four resistors. They all are linear and therefore the network is a linear network because we have all linear elements. So condition number one is satisfied. Let's move on to condition number two. The ratio of response to excitation should be ohm or mo. Here, this current is the response and this voltage source is the excitation. And uh, the ratio of response to excitation in this case will be current over voltage. That will be mo. So ratio of response to excitation is mo and this is allowed. So this network is satisfying our condition number two as well. And now we will move on to condition number three. According to this condition, the network should have only one source. It should be a single source network and this source should be independent. We have one source and this is independent and there is no other source present except this one. So condition three is also satisfied. Now moving on to the final condition, the network should not have any dependent source and yes, it is not having any dependent source. So all the conditions are satisfied by this network and therefore we can use reciprocity theorem. So we will first focus on our network A. We will find out the ratio of response to excitation in this case it is equal to 2 over 10 2 amperes over 10 volts now we will focus on network b we will find out ratio of response to excitation in this case it is equal to i over 20 i over 20 now from reciprocity theorem the ratio of response to excitation will remain the same in the two networks. So we will have 2 over 10 equal to I over 20. From here we will have current I equal to plus 4 amperes. This is our answer and when you look at the given four options you will find option D is the correct option.